Okay, so the first serious moment that we're getting into here took place at a football slash soccer finals match where the YouTube streamer I Show Speed was there live. Tensions got high as Speed's way of showing support to his club managed to annoy a fan of the opposing teams to the point where things got physical and Speed's bodyguard had to step in. It, it, bro. What the f Yo, 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 yo. What the f Why did he put his hands on me, bro? I didn't even touch him. If you had a problem, say something, bro. You got a verbal, bro. You don't put your hands, you don't put your hands on you don't put your hands on somebody, bro. I don't know if y'all do that in England, but in Portugal, we don't do that, bro. Cooler heads prevailed in the end as Speed went on to tweet out this picture of him and the fan, saying that he had forgiven him and that they were cool now. Still keeping it in the football scene with Speed, he also did have a brief altercation take place at the Simon Charity football match, where him and the YouTuber Ginge posted up against each other. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, that's a foul against Speed. It was good yeah. use of the body there from the angry ginge and we're seeing some of that anger now. Dude. And another thing that took place with Speed in this year was when he had accidentally exposed himself during a stream in front of his camera. This ordeal became a huge talking point in the scene and when he came back to stream again, some people in the chat were mocking him for it and while he did show that it did frustrate him, Like bro, how the f would you fail mother I'm sick of fucking chilling. Don't tell me a Calm down. He had also broken character and revealed to his viewers how the whole situation was actually affecting him. From the bottom of my heart, bro, it's bad days and hours. I've been suffering very mentally. At the end of the day, I'm still a human being. You guys don't know the feeling, bro, what I'm feeling right now, you know? Like, bro, I can't. I, I, I can't. I don't know what to do anymore, bro. And the last thing that we'll go over with Speed here had to actually do with one of his good friends, Kai Sanat, when the two of them linked up to make a song together. Kai pulled up to the house and their energetic personalities caused this tense moment to occur. Yo, you, yo! Alright, bros. Hey. Get yeah, bro, back up. Hey. Hey. Back up. What? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you ready to record a song? Bro, who? <laughs> bro, who? <laughs> What happened, bro? Make this song, bro. What happened, bro? Let's make this song. What happened, bro? He's mad because I flung him. And you know, while we're on the topic of Kai Sanat, we also did have a situation take place between two members of his AMP group, that being Agent and Phantom. And this, believe it or not, had to do with the running gag of the Phantom text. Phantom had taken Agent's fridge from his room and put it in his, and when Agent went to go get it back, he did retrieve his own fridge, but then also went back to go get Phantom's as well, to which Phantom did not appreciate. I'm just ain't going nowhere. You gotta take that, my boy. Nah, they get into a full-blown argument which eventually had phantom punching the camera and when agent returned to his room phantom was still not having it as kai had now entered the scene how did i do some corny shit? please explain to me doing you want me to talk to me i'll mute it if you want me to my dead man's pull up we're going to go outside okay check give me a sec i'll be right side. bro sit down man come through no we're gonna talk bro, bro. stop playing Get out. Excuse me, my brother. Excuse me, my brother. Excuse me, my brother. Do not touch my fridge, bro. I've never seen a more unreasonable individual. Go get your fridge, gang. I'll grab it later. I'll grab it later. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, no long-term animosity came out of this, and the two are still cool with each other now, continuing to make content for AMP. Now, going back to Kai, while he manages to keep his cool with a lot of people, one person that did get under his skin was Matan Evan, aka the Bill Clinton kid that crashed the 2022 Game Awards. Matan this year became known for showing up in the most random places, and Kai's live stream at Universal Studios was no exception. But Kai, with no interest in entertaining the kid, let him know how he felt about his stream sniping appearance. Yo, I I've seen him before. What are you doing? What the hell? What's going on? You're the most random person. You're not with us. You're not with us, but I've, I've definitely seen you before. Can I get a quick photo? Yeah, quick, quick, quick. Whoa, bro, stop doing that, bro. Cutty. Stop doing that, bro. You trying to be low. Stop doing that. Come on, you ain't being mad annoying. Why are you disturbing? Matan, still wanting to troll another big streamer later on, then set his eyes on the political commentator Hassan Piker and found the perfect opportunity to do so when Hassan went on to the front lines of the Writers Guild of America strike in the middle of the year. What's going on? How you guys doing? We love landlords. We're all against unions. We're here to protest against the landlords and the unions. We love landlords. We love them. We love landlords. You want to move uh, move away a little bit? No, he said we love landlords. No, no, we like union. I mean, we hate union. 
We love landlords. Now, the next moment that we got here also has to do a bit with the entertainment industry from the mainstream, where this one involves the Stranger Things 4 actress Grace Van Dien and the OG FaZe member slash YouTuber FaZe Rain. Grace, barely having shown interest in gaming and streaming in the past, she's nonchalantly joined the FaZe clan organization like it was nothing, rubbing many in the community the wrong way, including Rain, to which he vocally called her and the organization out. Both Rain and Grace from that would have a personal back and forth, and before things could get even worse, Rain decided to have an in-person meetup between the two to sort of squash the beef, where at first their conversation was going well, but things took a turn as Rain displayed her hypocrisy by acting offended over her comments. You want to super victimize yourself over that? Okay, then I guess I'm hurt. How dare you? How dare you bring up the worst time in my life? I almost died. And I called you mid and you responded sometimes almost took my life? That almost left my mom without a son and support? See, I could play that f game all day. If I called you mid, who cares what I say? And if you bring up my drug past, are you getting emotional? Yeah. Well, I'm just speaking the truth. I don't want you to get emotional. I don't like you. How I you think you're a terrible react? person. Really? Yeah. Oh, she's pulling the acting shit out now. Because I said that pulling I Pulling the acting shit out now? How am I a terrible person for what? Pulling the acting How shit out now. How am I a terrible person? Explain. I don't owe you an explanation, actually. And I owe you an explanation. Um, Macho? Tell Vera that I'm not doing this video, and if they release anything, that I'm leaving please. While it's not been entirely clear if Grace had officially left FaZe, she did remove their name out of her bio, but Rain has gone on to claim that she is still in the organization due to industry connections and circumstances. But now moving on from that side of the entertainment business, we're now going to go on to a bit of the fighting game, where first we saw the second Creator Clash event take place, where in the main event, Idubs took the second boxing loss of his career, but became emotional with the support that everyone has shown on that night. What would you like to say to all your fans and supporters? I don't know. Um... Ah, this shit's hard. Um, I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but I, I really do uh, appreciate the support. About six months after that, another crossover boxing event took place that saw the undefeated KSI take on the professional boxer Tommy Fury on the Prime card. And in this one, after a good showing from KSI to the surprise of many people, the judges announced Tommy Fury as the winner, and this set off KSI in not just the post-fight interaction. So I was throwing the shots, and I was the one put You weren't in. landing! You weren't landing! You weren't landing! Look at your face! Look at your eyes! But also in the solo interview that he had later on. Because he said he was going to knock out. Control it, control it, KSI. Come on, you will get the rematch and you'll no, win no, the I rematch. Just, do you want that I rematch? Don't, I don't, I don't. I hate losing. From KSI there, we now go on to his business partner in Prime, Logan Paul, also having an emotional moment take place. But this one occurred on his podcast at the beginning of the year, where when he was in the midst of receiving backlash for the CryptoZoo and George Jenko face situations, he had received a note from a stranger that comforted him, and Logan broke down a bit while talking about it. I told him that it was just insane how the reciprocation of energy that had taken place with me at a point in his life, uh... You being there for him and him being there for you. Yeah, at one point I was a light for him and then when I needed it, he was a light for me. <laughs> I couldn't be more grateful. It was just crazy. I saw it. I saw it unfold in real time, man. No one's ever written me a note that nice. Logan also later in the year went to a UFC event where he was actually seated next to the YouTuber Jideon. Jideon at that time was live streaming himself at the location, and when Logan came down and sat next to him, everything was all good for a while. But as time went on, Logan started becoming more and more uncomfortable being on the live stream, and had then asked Jideon if it was okay if they could move and or switch seats. Oh, wow. I want to just say here. I'll just switch. I'll just uh, switch with Chris. No, no, no. I'm gonna just say here. Let's go. Cool. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm chilling. Promise. Promise, bro. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. I just don't feel like being on camera all night. I'm not. I'm not mad. You know, I'm chilling. I'm chilling, chat. It's all chilling. I mean, we were there first, technically, but. <laughs> it's all good. Moving on from that awkward moment, Jideon and Logan's brother Jake then started beefing after Jake had mocked Jideon for moving seats on that night. Can you move to your left a little? I'm not f***ing Jideon. I'm not a fanboy like Jideon who's like, Oh, yes, Logan. Oh, yes, Logan. I'm your own f***ing brother, bro. We can go toe to f***ing toe. Jake, why didn't you keep the same energy when he f***ing 
your girlfriend while you were still dating her. This ticked off Logan a little bit as his name was brought up and he thought that Gideon had gone a bit too far with his brother. But at the time, both him, Logan and Gideon were still somewhat cool with each other, just now a little bit more on thin ice. But when the build up to the prime cards Logan Paul vs Dylan Dennis fight started taking place, Dylan was consistently going at Logan's fiance online to build hype for their fight. And Gideon expressed that he found Dylan's antics to be hilarious. And Logan, throughout all of this in the background, saw everything going on. Then when the launch press conference for the event took place, Logan got into heated interactions with Dylan throughout the day, including a face-to-face. -face. Your Twitter you account is a Logan Paul, hear? Nina Agdola fan I'm the one that builds this fight, you haven't said <laughs> Why, why, do, you, why do you guys now. do that? Yeah, yeah, look at me now. now. And the launch press conference itself. Bro, bro, bro. You've what? resorted to attacking a woman as your fight tactic? No wonder you're friends with I Conor McGregor. Attack. Where's Coach McGregor? And why won't he take Don't my worry, bet? He'll be here and he'll smack Why won't he take my million dollar bet? Why won't you pay back to people from CryptoZoo? I'm working on it, Dylan. Throughout this whole press conference, Jideon was actually there live streaming the whole thing, and when it was all said and done, Jideon went backstage and encountered himself with the now aggravated Logan Paul, and made a reference that sent Logan off on him. Logan, can we switch seats real quick? How my Two-Face? How my Two-Face, Logan? I wasn't the one laughing when Jake was making fun of me. That has nothing to do with it. It's what you did with Jake. That's all it has to do. It's what bro, you I'm did with Jake. My brother. I defended my brother. You but why were you defending with KSI? Bro, he's my business partner. Okay, 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 okay. Obviously, okay. Hey, I see where your loyalty Yo, lies. You mad, mad two-faced. No, I'm not two-faced. I'm, I'm real when it nah, needs to nah, be real. Nah. And you don't deserve to be real to. Yeah, right, bro. You, you don't deserve you to be real to. Hey, hey, you got another fight. You got a whole nother fight to worry about. Hey, I was keeping the I was keeping the jokes. I was keeping the jokes. You're the Call me. Yo, please leave. Hey, hey, hey. Please. You're a corny live streamer, please. Bro. Say less. Please. Corny as f get the f out of here. Hey, say less, Logan. Hey, good luck with your fight, Logan. He's talking about Jake. This man went on a fing rampage disparaging Jake, and I stood up for him, and he, that's what he got mad about. When I texted him, I was like, bro, you went too far with Jake. That's when he really switched up. A bit more drama regarding the two still occurred after the fact, with statements coming out from each of them. But when Gideon made a video for his audience stating that he was going to be retiring from his usual content and be turning over his life to Christ completely, one can assume that the beef between the two has now been squashed, as Logan wished the best for him on a Reason podcast episode. I think the world could use a little yes. guidance and positive, oh God. exactly, uh, bro. Um, like religion in their life. So if he if he can figure it out. It'd be phenomenal. Good for Gideon, bro. God yeah, bless bro. him. God yeah, bless no, him for, 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 sure. for making yeah. that pivot. Sure. I can't admirable. imagine it's easy. Like, like yeah. what, what a crazy Legit. shift. And that'll be the end of part one of this year's YouTuber Serious Moments. Part two will be coming out soon. But in the meantime, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And I will see you in another one.